Hello and welcome to my channel and I'm Stephanie and this is Know Me Monday. Know Me Monday is a series of videos that I do so you guys can get to know me a little bit better and I release them every Monday. So this Monday I am doing the makeup tag. As you can see, I am in a little bit different sort of setting. I'm sitting in my dining room and I don't normally put makeup on for videos or anything like that, but I had seen this one going around and I really wanted to do it because there aren't very many women of color that have done this makeup tag. So I wanted to sort of do that for that purpose as well as putting my makeup on on camera would be sort of fun. I don't do it very often because I don't wear makeup very often, only for special occasions, but hey, why not? It Plus I get to talk about books. So uh, this tag was modified by Sarah with out an H. I will also link Lauren from Offbeat Book Digest down below as well because she is a woman of color that has done this tag and I really enjoyed her video of this. So let's just get to it. Um, I'm taking my glasses off so I probably won't be looking into the camera all that much but uh, I have my mirror, I have my makeup, and I'll just talk through how the tag goes. Let's get to it. So first off, even if I have already taken a shower, I like to, and, I'm, and my face is pretty much freshly clean, I always like to make sure I use a makeup remover. So uh, just to make sure that I got all the oils and everything like that off my face, um, that it's not greasy or anything like that, no soap residue, make sure it's nice and clean. So this is a modification that I'm making, and the question that I'm gonna do for makeup remover or face wash, what have you, is going to be a book that helps you cleanse your palette when, you know, to clear out your mind. So when I clear out my mind on books, or if I'm in a book hangover or something like that, I clear out my mind by, I always go back to sort of that quick, all those trope filled books, something like Alexis Riley. Most of their stories are very quick and fun and rom-com-ish. They're full, filled with tropes and things like that. So that is one of the books that I go back to. So let me start by saying that I am not a makeup guru. So if my face comes out all funny looking, don't blame me. This is just how I learned how to put my makeup on. So first question is primer, and I use Primer Time by uh, Bare Minerals. All my products are Bare Minerals except for my mascara, but um, Primer Time, it just really works for me. It doesn't irritate my skin at all, and which I find most makeup does. It's very, very light, and just put that on there, and things like that. So for primer, the book, is pick a book that left a lasting impression and i will have to go with dear life by megan quinn and the reason i say this book left a lasting impression is because it's about a hard time in four different people's lives and they really find their way in the journey that they take and it's a lasting sort of book because you you kind of learn some lessons or some life lessons through it and it's very very interesting that a book that is a fiction book that can you know provide that type of insight into life and being and how to cope with things so that book definitely left a lasting impression on me. Next we have foundation and as I said bare minerals and I am using medium dark number 4n and what I love about this is that you just take a little bit of it and tap it into the, the top and then you swish your brush right here right Swish it, swish it, swish it. And this is why I like to use these products is because Bare Minerals really just does it for me because it's just a swishing all the way around and it covers everything. You don't even feel it. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. I've been using it for, gosh, quite a while. Um, let me check it out with that. And I really didn't have to use very much of it to 
make sure that the foundation is on. It gives such light cover and it blends well. Being a woman of color, it's hard to find, or at least for me, it's hard to find colors that don't make me look ghostly. So there is that. Sure. Alrighty. And then I should have been talking about the book instead of the makeup. But the book uh, for foundation, uh, pick my favorite first book in a series. So I have a couple of them and that's going to be the first book of the Consequences series, which is Consequences by Alethea Roman. And then The Art of Submission by Ella Dominguez. And the third one is going to be Avoiding Commitment by, by K.A. Lindy. All three of these books really set the tone for their series and they gave me this drive to continue on with the series and want to know more about these characters. Next we have concealer. So sometimes I like to go with a brighter one. So I'll go with the Honey Bisque, which is this sort of bright color right here. Or if I just want to go for a super, super natural look, I'll go with the Dark Bisque. So let's see. I guess I will go with the darker one today just because of the eyeshadow that I have planned. that will go along with concealer is pick a character you wish you could get rid of. Oh, oh my goodness. So I have two of them. And the first one is Captain Holt from the Stark trilogy by C.D. Bradley. And if you have read this, this book or this series, you will understand this guy is just out of control when it comes to when it comes to his ethics and his being he is such a douchebag i really don't like that character like at all um and i would definitely like to get rid of him and then the second one is devin from the life of anna series by marissa honeycutt now i say i want to get rid of him Ooh, i poke myself with i oh i'm gonna cry gonna cry gonna cry Whew. Okay, so I say I want to get rid of him because he is like truly the devil, but you could not have, you couldn't have this story without having the devil or a villain. So, in a way, you really can't get rid of him. And I like to use concealer to like even out sort of dark spots or places that I think need to be concealed. I also like to go back and then rub in my foundation again, just to even them out again. Right. Next is going to be powder. Alrighty, so for powder, I like to use my warmth. And uh, it's just like a tinted veil, sort of. Actually, no, it's not the tinted veil. This is the warmth, and it's just the powder. So let's get to that. And what's awesome is. I can use the same brush that I've been using and it doesn't hurt anything. It's almost like they're blending together to mix everything. So for powder, pick my favorite last book in a series. Ah, okay. So that is going to be a fun one because there are a few books there. And that first one is going to be Beyond the Consequences by Alethea Roman. And this book just gives you that warm, fuzzy, I need more of, of this couple sort of feel. So I do love that. And now I look all shiny. Wow, I never realized that on camera. Okay, so. That is what the warmth does though. I'm probably using it wrong. I probably should only use it on like small little parts of my face, but I don't because this is how I roll. So there is warmth and I got off track. The next book is going to be Emerge by 
Marissa Honeycutt and that is the fifth book in the Life of Anna series and that just really brings everything full circle and I really do love that book in the series because I was so down in the dirt in the dark with that series that book definitely brought light and then finally is Tell Me Something True by Katherine Owen and even though there is so much drama and heartbreak in this book oh my goodness it just is the culmination to this this couple that you're just like wow is that really really happening and you just I just loved it loved it loved it loved it even though I stayed in bed and cried I really did enjoy that book alrighty so let's do eyebrows well I really don't do anything to my eyebrows um not even a little bit I mean I don't add well I might add a little bit of color let's add a little bit of color as you can probably hear my dog is trying to get in oh goodness we're gonna blend that in a little bit yes there's that but I'm taking my hand to done a brush and I'm going to blend that in to make sure it's nice soft I could never do my eyebrows but we're going to run you know what I'm saying like face do do just go with natural eye of my eye like already Alrighty, I now have eyebrows. Yay! I'll probably think about that later on in life and go with uh, maybe something lighter, maybe with a brown or something like that. But uh, for eyeshadow, pick a book that has your favorite colors, or excuse me, we're on eyebrows still, and that is a book that you think everyone should read. I think everyone should read better by Carrie Haywood, especially if they've lost anyone to cancer, um, just because it's a good journey of how to deal with grief and unexpectedness. And I think people should also read The Color Purple by Alice Walker. And there are so many reasons for that. I don't even know where to begin besides the fact that it's it shows a different side of sexuality it shows a different side of the south it shows a different side of everything in life and i just think it's a great journey and if you get the chance to listen to it on audiobook make sure you get the one where alice walker is the one that is narrating the book because it is so much more powerful i absolutely enjoyed it when i read it then i think you should read leap by mr joseph it's a romantic mystery book that really takes you on a journey it's left it left me thinking you know wow just wow it's about lost love it's about young love that is later on in life and everything like that so it's just i really really enjoyed that book as well now let's go with the eyeshadow i don't usually wear eyeshadow but for today's video i'm gonna go with like a, a dark blue ish because that is what i have planned for my lipstick as well looks like it's a little sparkly so i might look like a clown after i'm done with all of this because i've never used eyeshadow like ever um that i put on myself so we'll see how this turns out And the book with, the book that goes along with eyeshadow is, the book that goes along with eyeshadow, pick a, pick a book with your favorite colors on the cover. So I'm going to go with Dying Wish by Margaret McKayser. It gives this great sort of fall look to it. And it, I think it just is amazing. And... I'm gonna go with Silenced by Letty Harper because it gives this image of blues and the moon in there and I absolutely love that about it. Um, and finally I'm going with Amnesia by Cambria Hebert because I just think that book cover is fabulous and it has the blues and the greens and the teals and just the mystery of it and it's just beautiful. I absolutely love that cover. 
So alrighty, let's get to the next book is going to be eyeliner. And that is pick a dark and mysterious book. Oh, so I have three of those. And for eyeliner, that's very interesting because I use a Revlon luxurious color and um, I have a smoky crayon that I use. Yes, I love that. And I know you're not supposed to like pull down your eye or anything like that, but you know what, I do. And that's how I put it on. So dark and mysterious books that I have read. Of course there's gonna be Life of Anna. And by Marissa Honeycutt. And then another dark one that left that has left an impression on me is That Which Destroys Me by Kimber S. Dawn. And then finally, I just read The Unrequited, and that book is like super haunting and just crazy. I mean, it was it was amazing in that it's so taboo that it's you're just sort of thinking, wow, did I really just read all that? I mean, did I really just read what was going on there? So yeah, and then it's poetic and beautiful and just all kinds of that, right? So let me go ahead and finish up my eye. And see, I like to use this crayon because I don't like the fine line. However, I do, it adds to the eyeshadow that I go on. And you really can't see it, but they work together nicely. So. There we go. I've always wanted to do those wings, but I've never been able to do wings. So we don't do wings on my face unless I get them done professionally. Alrighty, so we have that. Alrighty, so my next is mascara, and I lose I use Revlon um, Luscious Grow Luscious mascara, and I just simply, you know, it's really easy. So this is a quick question, and pick a long book. Obviously, I would have to go with Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, and. That was a super long book for me, probably my longest book, if I'm not mistaken. And I listened to it on audiobook, but it took me two weeks to listen to it on audiobook because there are 23 discs, I believe it was. 23 very long discs to listen to. That's a lot of reading. And then if you pick up the book, you know that the book is over about a thousand pages. So, so very annoying. All right. So we have a mascara on now. Ooh. Alrighty. So my face is almost done. Um, next is gonna be blush, but I don't use blush. So kind of can't use, do blush, yep. Yeah. I don't put any red or anything like that um, on my cheeks. I do make sure that I am got this going on here. Yeah. Um, make sure my veil is nice and applied so it gives that sort of highlighted look. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so for blush, pick a book that had some cringeworthy romance. And I have to go with The Unrequited by Saffron A. Kent. And of course, that even though it was poetic, there were some cringeworthy moments in there. So that was very interesting. And then three other books, Excess, Camouflage, and Crosshairs, all by Kate Stewart. Now, these books I have raved about. I absolutely love these books. They're a different side of Kate Stewart, and I absolutely love them. But there are definitely some moments in there that you are just like, oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness. Wow, did that really just happen? I just can't believe that. So those are my books. Next we're going to do highlighter and I usually don't do a highlighter, but I do have Tinted Veil. Do you sort of gloss over everything? Just lightly go over my face. Just gloss over everything. And the book we're going for highlighted, pick a book that brightens my day. And I will have to go with 
the Two Lovers series by Kay Webster and J.D. Hollyfeld, and that is Text to Lovers and Hate to Lovers, and I have in queue to read Thieves to Lovers, but I am sure that I will absolutely adore that book as well because those books are so funny and so sassy and all together just a lots of goodness and they brighten my day. So there is that. Now on to lipstick. So pick my favorite book Kiss. And for that, since I'm going with this whole dark theme going on on my face already, um, I'm going to go with this um, matte lipstick by RK Kiss or RK by Kiss and it's blue. I've never used it so I don't even know how this is gonna like come out on camera or on my lips for that matter. I did like it when I tested it so let's see. And I've always wanted to sort of do that whole you know goth kind of dark look and I don't know that I like this in person but I can see right now that it will look good on camera like really good on camera I might wear this again Alrighty, and my favorite book kiss is going to be uh, Red Lights, Black Hearts by Fabiola Francisco. And this sort of semi-couple that is in this book is super interesting because it's not necessarily romantic, but when they finally get there, it's just so interesting. You're like, oh, okay, I kind of like that. I, I do like that. And then Love My Way by Kate Starrett. Oh, this book definitely like grabbed my heart and was like, oh, uh, just had it in its grasp. And I loved the kiss that happens or the couple of kisses that happen. There are a couple and I really, really enjoyed it. So that is the makeup book tag. And I've now put on my makeup. Do I look any better? How do you guys like it? Mm, I don't think that I'll do this for because this was a lot of work actually not that much work but because I talked through it this isn't something that I do every day so I won't be doing this on camera very often but I do like the look um, what do you guys think about the look would you guys do this book tag do I look ghostly do you think I look ghostly because that's what I try not to look like but let me know down in the comments as always if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel also there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel also I started a grid reads group so go check that out as well thank you for watching and we will see you guys later